Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi, children. Today we will start our first class, physical science, ninth class. Let us see the chapters. Here, total twelve chapters are there. First one, motion. Second one, laws of motion. Third one is matter pure. Fourth chapter, atoms and molecules. Fifth chapter, what is inside atom. Sixth chapter, chemical reactions and equations. Seventh chapter, reflection of light at curved surfaces. Eighth chapter, gravitation. Ninth chapter, floating bodies. Tenth chapter, work and energy. Eleventh chapter, sound. And twelfth chapter is units and graphs. Let us start the first chapter, motion. We are regularly seeing bodies moving. A bus is moving. A cyclist is moving. A car moving. A train moving. An aeroplane moving. then a bird flying i mean moving wind is blowing means air particles are moving water in the river is flowing that means moving like that we are regularly seeing many objects moving the students during their break time are also moving here and there randomly it is also motion the teachers also moving from one class to the other class when the period is over there is a, a person at point a initially at time t is equal to 0 seconds at time t is equal to 0 he is at a then he moved to point b by the time t equal to 1 second later he moved to c in another second then in the next second he moved to point d like that this person is changing his position time to time he is said to be in motion there is another person at point a at t is equal to 0 after 1 second at t is equal to 1 again he is found to be at a only at t is equal to 2 seconds at t is equal to 3 seconds like that time is passing but the person is still is found to be at a then he is said to be at rest this body this person is not changing its position if it is changing in motion if it is not changing it is at rest rest or motion are relative terms rest and motion are relative terms let us understand what is the clear meaning of this relative what is the meaning of relative in rest and relative in motion here you have given one picture in page number 2 figure 1 in your textbook a road is there one tree is there beside the road two persons a and b they are named as a and b are walking on this road observe carefully if you ask a about the position of the tree he will answer that the tree is on his right side if you ask the same question to the other person b he will answer that 
द ट्री इज आट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ बी द पर्सन बी आंसर दट द ट्री इज ऑन हिस लेफ्ट हैंड साइड for a the tree is on right hand side for b the same tree is on the left hand side that means the answers are differing the answers are differing from person to person so the position of the tree is relative depending on the person whom you have asked the question for a it is on the right hand side and for b it is on the left hand side so the answer is not uh, a constant uh, not same the answer depends on the person also relative to person a answer is right relative to person b answer is left that means the position of the tree is relative it is not fixed it is relative to the person whom you have asked the question okay now let us take the another picture figure 2 in your textbook this is a globe our earth here four persons are given a b c d assume that they are standing on the globe at different places if uh, you ask a question to a about the position of uh, c he will answer that mr c is on his uh, right hand side if the same question is asked to b about the c mr b answers that mr c is on his uh, left hand side question is same but the answer is a uh, changing depending on to whom the question is uh, asked if you ask uh, a answer is uh, right hand side if you ask b answer is a uh, left hand side so it is clear that the answer is not only depending on c it is also depending on whom you have asked that is called uh, relative so relative to a c is on left hand side and relative to b c is on uh, left hand side now consider this example we have three lines a b c d and e f three lines of different length when there is no c d and e f lines you can't say that whether ab is shorter or longer when ab alone is there you can't say it is shorter or longer when cd and ef are drawn you can say that ab is shorter than cd and you can also say that ab is longer than ef ab is shorter than cd and ab is longer than ef here ab is shorter here ab is longer here the answer is relative to cd that means when compared to cd ab is shorter here relative to ef that means when compared to ef ab is longer therefore shorter and longer are relative terms if you are giving answer that is shorter then you have to fulfill that answer by saying with respect to cd and when you are saying longer you have to specify when compared to with respect to ef relative to ef now let us take this uh, picture uh, let us understand the meaning of relative in motion here i have given one picture page number 3 figure 3 in your textbook a car is passing on the road and it is moving towards east 
the arrow mark in the diagram represents the east direction and car is also moving in the same direction given by an arrow specified by an arrow therefore the car is said to be moving in the east direction there is one tree besides the road and two persons are standing on the footpath and maybe they are having some chit chat and their names are somesh and shrinu okay understand the picture road car is moving towards the east there is one tree and there are two persons somesh and shrinu on the footpath and there are two persons in the car one is a driver another is passenger okay now shrinu is asking what is the state of motion of the tree what is the state of motion of the tree shrinu is asking to somesh what is the state of motion of the tree somesh answered that it is at rest how can he answer the distance from somesh to the tree is constant and is not changing though the time is passing time is passing but there is no increase in distance between somesh and tree therefore he says that the tree is at rest obviously the tree is at rest with respect to somesh and his answer is absolutely correct now shrinu asked somesh another question what is the state of motion of the car what is the state of motion of the car he means whether the car is moving or not if at all moving what is the direction of motion so shrinu asked somesh what is the state of motion of the car and somesh answered that it is moving due east d u e due due east means in that direction towards so somesh answered that the car is moving towards east yes he is correct in the picture one arrow is representing the east direction and the car is also moving in the same direction represented by another arrow so the answer given by somesh is correct then shrinu asked somesh another question what is the state of motion of the driver and the passenger in the car once again what is the state of motion of the driver and the passenger in the car so somesh answers that they are also moving like the car that means they are also moving towards east obviously the motion of the passengers is same as the motion of the car because they are sitting in the car and moving along with the car when the car is moving towards east the passengers are also moving towards east along with the car then another question by shrinu to somesh how do you decide that the car the passenger and the driver are moving oh this is a intelligent question how do you decide that the car the passenger and the driver are moving the answer by the somesh will be with respect to us the position of the car the passenger and the driver are changing so they are in motion with respect to us with respect to us few seconds earlier they were very close to us later they moved away now they are far away that means the distance between us and the car is changing with time so they are in motion 
Now let us examine the conversation between the driver and the passenger. The driver asking the passenger what is the state of the motion of the train. Driver asking the question to the passenger. The question is what is the state of motion of the train. The passenger will answer that the tree is moving due west. The tree is moving towards west. The car is moving towards east. So for the passenger sitting inside the car, up the tree appears to be moving in the reverse direction of the car when compared to the car. So the answer given by the passenger is the tree is moving due west. Now the driver puts another question. What is the state of motion of the two persons beside the road? So the passenger sitting in the car because the car is moving towards the east he answers that the two persons are also moving due west. The two persons are also moving towards west. Then another question is raised by the driver. What is my state of motion? So driver asking the question, what do you think of my state of motion? My means driver. So the passenger has to answer about the state of motion of the driver. The passenger answers that you are at rest. The driver in the car is at rest because both are sitting in the same car. The passenger is in the back seat and the driver is in his driving seat. Time has passed but he is not leaving the car. He is there in the driving seat. So the answer given by the passenger is the driver is at rest. So the passenger says that the driver is at rest. Then the driver puts another question. What is the state of motion of the car? What is the state of motion of the car? Now this is a difficult question. Definitely the passenger has to think of before he answers this question and he can answer that we are at rest. The car, the driver and the passenger himself are at rest and the road, the trees, the persons moving on the footpath are all moving in the backward direction that is in the west direction. And the car, the passenger, the driver are at rest. So for the persons inside the car, they appear to be at rest. Remaining the objects outside the car are moving in the opposite direction. So with these examples, we understood that whether the bodies are at rest or moving, the rest are moving are relative terms. The left, right, top, bottom, the left, right, top, bottom, these are all relative terms. Rest and motion are also relative terms. The same object may be at rest for one person and the same object may be in motion for another person. Like uh, for the person standing on the footpath feels that the tree is at rest but the person sitting in the moving car feels that the tree is moving in the reverse direction. Like that, the motion is relative. Tomorrow we will take a next topic. Till now, you read this textbook. Raise your doubts. You can put your doubts in my WhatsApp. So, thank you. Take care.